If you get bitten by a single bullet ant, the pain is said to feel like being shot and can last anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, which is enough to terrify anyone. However, in the Satare Mawe tribe of Brazil, young men don't just face one ant. They have to endure the bites of hundreds of them. This is the challenge they must face to be recognized as a man, marking a significant transition in their lives. Let's explore this intense ritual and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to discover more fascinating videos about unique rituals and customs from around the world. The rite of passage to prove manhood by enduring bullet ant stings is a regular tradition of the Satare Mawe tribe in Brazil. In their culture, becoming a man isn't just a natural process that happens with age. It's a crucial transition in social roles. The young men of the tribe cannot be considered warriors or protectors of the community unless they pass this harsh coming-of-age test, the bullet ant sting ritual. This ceremony marks a significant turning point in a young man's life proving his bravery, endurance, and perseverance, traits essential to becoming a man in the tribe. What makes this ritual unique is the use of bullet ants, Paraponera clavata, a small insect known for its incredibly painful sting, often compared to being shot. The sting of the bullet ant ranks at the top of the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, and the excruciating pain can last up to 24 hours. The pain spreads throughout the body, forcing the young men to endure an agonizing experience. Before participating in the ritual, the young men undergo physical and mental training from a young age. This includes lessons on hunting, survival skills, and learning the cultural values of the tribe. They are taught the importance of this ritual, improving their worth and being accepted by the community. This training prepares them mentally to face the extreme pain caused by the bullet ants. The elders, who have deep knowledge and experience with the ritual, lead a group of young men into the forest to catch the bullet ants. These ants live on tall trees and are usually found in the tropical rainforest of the Amazon. After gathering enough ants, they bring them back to the village. The ants are dipped in a special herb that temporarily paralyzes them, making it easier to handle them. Meanwhile, other men in the village weave gloves. Once the gloves are ready, the ants are carefully placed inside. Each glove holds hundreds of ants, arranged so that their heads face inward. This ensures that when the young men wear the gloves, the sharp jaws of the ants will bite deeply into their arms. The ceremony is held in a sacred area near the tribe's settlement, often a clearing in the jungle where the community gathers for important spiritual events. This place is considered a holy ceremonial ground for the tribe, where they perform not only this rite, but other religious and community ceremonies. The young men are led to the central area, where the main part of the ceremony takes place. The atmosphere is solemn, reflecting the importance of this life transition. At this moment, the elders give them the gloves filled with live bullet ants. This is the critical moment of the ritual, the moment when the young men officially cross the threshold into adulthood. As they put on the gloves, the ants awaken and begin biting fiercely into their hands and arms. The pain from the bullet ant bites has been described as feeling like thousands of needles, piercing your body at once, combined with a burning and twisting sensation. The young men must endure these bites for about 10 to 20 minutes. During this time, they cannot show any signs of pain, as this would be seen as weakness and immaturity. Staying strong, silent, and composed are qualities valued during this ritual. While the ritual is happening, the tribe gathers around to dance and sing traditional songs. Instruments such as drums and horns are played, meant to encourage and lift the spirits of the participants, helping them push through the pain and continue their internal battle. When the time is up, the young men are allowed to remove the gloves. However, the pain does not end there. The venom from the bullet ant stings continues to cause pain for many hours, sometimes even days afterward. Their hands and arms may swell up, become numb, or even paralyze temporarily. Shivering, muscle spasms, and cold sweats are common symptoms after the ritual. 
After enduring the intense pain, those who complete the challenge are honored as true men. They officially enter a new stage of life and are recognized as adults by the community, taking on important roles and responsibilities. On the other hand, those who fail to complete the challenge are not considered warriors or men yet, and they must go through the ritual again in the future. Once the ceremony is over, the participants are cared for by the elders and their families. They are treated with traditional herbal remedies to ease the pain, reduce swelling, and help their bodies recover from the ant stings. This recovery process may take a few days, but for them, it is a source of pride to have passed the test and proven their courage. For the tribe, this coming-of-age ritual holds sacred value. It is not only a test of the young men's ability to endure pain, but also a demonstration of their determination, bravery, and ability to conquer fear. Essential qualities for becoming protectors of the community. The bullet ant ritual, though filled with pain and difficulty, carries deep spiritual significance in the journey to adulthood for each young man. It is not just a personal challenge, but an important part of the cultural heritage of the Satare Mawe tribe, helping to preserve traditional values across generations. Though the Satare Mawe tribe in the Amazon is known for this painful ritual, many other cultures worldwide also have challenging coming-of-age ceremonies. Although they may not be as painful as the Satare Mawe's, they carry significant cultural and spiritual importance. In South Africa, the Shosa people have a coming-of-age ritual called Olwaluko. Young men undergo circumcision without painkillers and then live in isolation for a long period, learning about ethics, philosophy, and the social values of the Xhosa community. This ritual is not only a physical test, but also emphasizes spiritual purification and mental maturity. In the Omo Valley of Ethiopia, the Hamar tribe has a unique rite of passage. Young men must jump over the backs of castrated bulls multiple times without falling. Successfully completing this challenge earns them the respect of the community and the title of Maza, making them eligible for marriage. Each of these rituals presents different challenges, but they all symbolize the transition from childhood to adulthood, a significant milestone in both social and spiritual life. These are how tribes pass down lessons of patience, bravery, and community spirit to younger generations. The participants become not just warriors of the tribe, but also protectors of culture and tradition for generations to come. The bullet ant rite of passage in the Satere Mawe tribe is clear evidence that, even in today's modern and developed society, some tribes still hold on to ancient values that emphasize courage, sacrifice, and perseverance. The pain from the bullet ants is a test not everyone can endure, but for the Satare Mawe, it is the only way to become a true warrior, a man who is respected and admired in the community. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming journeys of discovery.